What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we have another gaming keyboard. This is the TTE Sports Poseidon Z RGB gaming keyboard. Um, so it's their Poseidon Z, but they've added RGB backlighting, which has become extremely popular in the gaming scene. So let's go ahead and take a look. So taking a look at the box, uh, the box isn't all that much larger than the keyboard itself. On the front, there is a picture of the keyboard all lit up and everything like that. On the back, um, it kind of goes into detail on some of the features of the software as well as the keyboard, but I know you guys just want me to open this. So let's go ahead and do that. And the keyboard is nicely protected inside. You guys can kind of, you know, see that. And it should just be the keyboard and that's it. Um, oh, we actually have some stuff in here. So, take the keyboard out. And the first thing I'm already feeling with the keyboard is that it's heavy. And uh, for a keyboard, that's a good thing. That means it has good quality build, which means you're not going to break it. Um, with it, we have a little multi-language quick installation guide. Um, basically, will show you how to get everything set up and how to get the keyboard up and running. Um, you sh it is plug and play, so you don't have to really do anything, but if you wanna go into more customization on the on the lights and different things, um, you will need to download the software, which be, is available on their website, and then you have this little warranty policy. Um, no stickers or anything like that. Uh, would have liked to seen TT Sports stickers to throw on your case or throw on your monitor, but they don't have those. But we'll take a look at the keyboard um, so it's kind of a basic full-size keyboard. What I mean by that is that it does have a full complement of keys and you do have a full number pad, but there's no um, macro keys or anything else on the end and it's not the larger keyboard. There's no wrist rest or anything like that. This size is actually extremely popular, especially in the eSports scene. Um, this size and then 10 keyless size as well. Depending on the game, a lot of people like having the full number pad, so you do have that. Um, but a lot of people also enjoy the 10 keyless, but this is a full size keyboard. Um, so full complement keys plus the number pad here. So I'm gonna flip it around and see what we have here. And uh, we do have that height adjustment, as you can just see, that I'm just messing with here. Um, so this features the TTE Sports um, brown switch. Um, so seems like very comfortable, um, which I do like. Just messing around with it um, just a little bit. So as I said, you do have that uh, full complement of keys, but then you have a set of multimedia keys, which I'm gonna close that back up. Um, we have our set of uh, multimedia keys at the top. So these are, if you hit the uh, function key, which is right here. So if you, if you hold in the function key, you have back, play, pause, forward, stop, mute, volume down, and a volume up. You also have an MR button, which I believe is to record a macro, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, we have two lighting buttons right here, F11 and F12. Um, I believe that's brightness up and brightness down. Um, and then we have this little refresh button up top, which not sure, okay. Um, I'm not sure what the refresh button does, but you can turn it on and turn it off. Um, still not exactly sure with that, we just opened this up. Um, but it is a very solid keyboard. As I said, it's very heavy. Um, keyboards that are very heavy, um, that is a very good thing. Um, because again, if I'm doing this, and I'm mashing on the keyboard, if it's heavy, it's not gonna move around as much. Um, and it's good build quality. So if I am jamming on this, you know, I'm really playing hardcore for hours at a time. And of course, you know, over years, it, it's not gonna break down. Um, so that is a good thing with this keyboard. Besides that, um, you know, you have your typical, I would have liked to see a braided cable here, but you do have the rubber cable um, with this a typical connector, not a gold plated connector or anything like that. I believe this is selling for just about $100. Um, so that is a very good deal there. I'm actually going to um, turn off the lights here and I'm gonna show you the different modes as far as the RGB lighting because I know that is the big seller or the big uh, selling point of this keyboard. So let's go ahead and check that out. 
Moving on to illumination, as you can see, the keyboard itself is fully backlit and it's RGB backlighting. So by default, we have red. So if you install this um, in your system without the software, you'll have red by default, but you can make each key individually a different color, which is pretty cool, um, which we're gonna show you some cool stuff with that. But with this, um, you also have different lighting levels, um, which you can change on the keyboard itself. So if you hold the function key in, and F11 is brightness down and F12 is brightness up. So you can, hold, there's four different levels. So we go down one, two, three, and then finally it will turn it off. So if you don't want backlighting, you can do that. And then we'll turn it all the way back up right here. Now TT Sports in their software has a cool, uh, you know, cool uh, presets or cool different modes that you can do. So you don't have to program everything yourself. The first one here, which I'll switch it to, is called reactive and what that does is that actually reacts to um, if you're typing so if i hit here you can see that it reacts like that and you again you can change whatever this backlighting is that's lighting up here so you can go ahead and do that the next one is aeroflow which is sort of like the same thing but it shoots sort of like an arrow out so we go ahead and do that and you can see how the colors change like that um, it shoots an arrow out whenever I type something. And then finally, or the second to finally, we have Wave, which is, I'm sure you've seen this. Um, this is how a lot of people show off the keyboard. It is an RGB color wave, looks really cool. And in the software, you can, you can change the speed of the wave, the direction of the wave, things like that you can do. And then finally, we have another cool one, which is Ripple, which is one of my favorites. Um, if you hit it, it ripples the entire keyboard from where you type, which is pretty awesome. Um, that is pretty cool. So you can do a lot of cool stuff with this keyboard. Um, as far as the lighting goes, it can be all be done in the software. We'll go ahead and change it back um, to our default backlighting. It looks really good. Um, the actual backlighting part is sort of like reflective, so it gives you that better look as well. Um, so that is basically it here for our quick unboxing and overview of the TT Esports Poseidon Z RGB keyboard. Now make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we'll have our full written review. And until next time, catch you guys later.